we've seen a, a number of different ways to describe our distribution, measures of spread, measures of center, uh, different summary statistics, the five number summary, but what about mean and median? Uh, those are two uh, measures of center, but when do I use the mean to describe the center and when should I use the median to describe the center? Well, there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. If our mean and our median have values that are very close to each other, then we're going to use the mean to describe the center. Okay, if we think back to our uh, data set that we've been using, we found that the mean was equal to 4.32 and the median was equal to 4. Now in this case, I feel like these two values are close to each other, so I would use the mean to describe the center of our distribution and our data set. Um, and the data set that we've been using is the number of times Mr. Mays has seen Star Wars, the original Star Wars since 1977 in a particular year. Um, so if you go back and watch some of the other videos, you'll be familiar with some of these values. Um, but these are close. Now, how close they are is always a relative um, situation. You need to think about the context of the data that you're looking at. In this case, we had a large range. The range went from 1 all the way up to 15. And that makes 4.32 and 4 pretty close to each other. So I would use the mean to describe the center of my distribution. Now, when the mean and the median are significantly different than each other, we use the median to describe the center of the distribution. So if our mean was 4.32 and our median was 8, I would say that those would be significantly different than each other. And I would use the median to describe our center. Now let me show you a couple of distributions here to kind of give you an idea of why we use the median when they are different and the mean when they're about the same. Let's start off looking at this distribution. Um, it is bell-shaped and symmetric or normal shaped and the center of the distribution is right about here. Well, our three measures of center are mean, median, and mode. And it just so happens that the mean, the median, and the mode are all in about the center of this distribution where this little green line is, this green dotted line is. The mean, the median, and the mode in a bell-shaped or normal distribution are all going to be about the same and that's why it's okay to use the mean to describe the center of your distribution because mean is the average and the average is what people are used to most of the time. But what if our distribution is skewed? Over here I have a skewed right distribution. Well, the mode is going to be wherever the peak is. So it looks in this case like the mode is right here about at three. So there's the mode. But what about the mean and the median? Well, the mean is not very resistant to data values. So the mean always gets pulled towards the tail. So the mean may be over here somewhere. I'll label that the mean. The mean always gets pulled farthest towards the tail. Now, I'm not sure if the mean is, a, is a, a, exactly at about six and a half, or, but in this case, we always know that when there's a skewed right or a skewed left, the mean gets pulled towards the tail. Whereas the median does not get pulled towards the tail as much as the mean. So right here is my median. So whenever we have a mean and a median that are significantly different than each other, that tells us that the mean is being pulled towards these values that are over here in the tail. And that tells us that we should use the median to describe the center. The median is just a better description of the center or middle of our data than the mean is when our data is skewed to the right or skewed to the left. If this was all flipped around, the mean would get pulled way over here to the left if the tail was on the left. So that's why when the mean and the median have values that are very close, 
that tells us that our distribution is probably bell-shaped if we don't actually look at it, and we should probably use the mean to describe the center. But if our, if our mean and our median are different than each other, that means that we're either skewed left or skewed right, depending on which one is larger than the other, and we should use the median to describe the center of our distribution. Now, what about the spread? Well, the spread that we should the the spread that we want to use to describe the distribution also depends on the mean and the median. So we're going to go with this. If we use the mean to describe the center, there's the bell. We'll just go ahead and keep going right through the bell. If you use the mean to describe the center, then you should always use standard deviation to describe the spread. So once again, if I'm going to use the mean, because it's bell-shaped and symmetric, where the mean and the median are about the same, if you use the mean to describe the center, you should always or also use the standard deviation to describe the spread. But it's a little bit different if the mean and the median are significantly different than each other, and we use the median. If you use the median to describe the center, then you should always use the interquartile range to describe the spread. So there we go. If the mean and the median are the same or very close to each other, then use the mean to describe the, the, the uh, center of the distribution. If the mean and the median are different, use the median to describe the center of the distribution. And then if you use the mean, you should always talk about the standard deviation when you're describing the spread. And if you use the median, you should always use interquartile range to describe the spread.